I'm delighted that today we unveil South Africa's first proof of concept for an on-road hydrogen mobility ecosystem, a significant milestone some two years in its development. Catalyzed by our commitment to decarbonization, Sasol formed a strategic partnership with Toyota South Africa Motors in 2021 to explore the development of a local green hydrogen mobility ecosystem. Toyota is at the forefront of hydrogen fuel cell technology development, and I'm sure you can agree that the Toyota Mirai is a beautiful application of hydrogen fuel cell technology. We subsequently expanded that collaboration to include Air Products, a world-leading provider in hydrogen dispensing technologies, logistics and support. Their role is essentially to enabling on-the-road hydrogen mobility. Having reached this historic milestone, much more work is to be done which includes developing the regulatory environment in which green hydrogen mobility can thrive. We've sold in excess of 25,000 fuel cell electric vehicles globally since 1992. In fact, the first prototype fuel cell electric vehicle was uh, used in a static display in 2002 at the World Summit on Sustainable Development that was actually held here in, in Johannesburg. Our big step forward came in 2015 when uh, we launched the Mirai, which is the, a large sedan, which is the first commercially available uh, vehicle. And we've sold over 12,000 of these uh, globally since that launch. And we've estimated to cover over 500 million kilometers. And then last year, the second generation Mirai was, was launched. And that's taken a big step forward in terms of efficiency and, and driving uh, dynamics. And we've got a vehicle on display and also a vehicle uh, that's being used to, to demonstrate it uh, outside here. Um, and, and really what we needed to make this work was of course green hydrogen from Sassel and a dispenser from Air Products. So that's been a very successful collaboration. The first step is to create awareness, really, and that's kind of one of our main objectives today, is to create an awareness of the technology, to showcase it. And uh, to do that takes collaboration because there's no one party can possibly do all of this. You need the vehicle suppliers, you need uh, the producers, the primary producers, you need the people to bring the equipment for dispensing and so on. Once, you, once you've showcased the technology, it then it's going to take the support of government really to bring the legislative framework, as I see it, and to uh, create an enabling environment uh, for this uh, technology to sort of take off. This uh, sort of hydrogen revolution feels a little bit like uh, maybe cell phones were in the early 1990s where um, you know we were saying okay do I buy one of these things don't I buy one of them uh, who's gonna build the towers will we have coverage and then guess what 20 years later you can't live without them you know so I think you know that's that's what we're looking at here we're looking at the beginning of something quite quite big um, I think it's going to take a lot of investment and it's going to take uh, support from government.